here I am yet again with a video that I have prepared for not at all, but we're going to jump right in. Um, as per the title of the video, you can probably guess this is about uh, things not to say to people with disability. Here's a post that I never ever thought I'd be making a video on this, but here we go. I've seen a shit ton of posts, videos, social media posts, blah blah blah, about how not to talk to people with disability. Now, seeing these, when I watched them, I assumed it would be like, don't walk up to an amputee that you don't know and be like, what's up, hop along? Or don't walk up to somebody with an intellectual disability and be like, because, you know, duh. They're not. Um, ton that I've seen from, let's say, amputees, for example, are, uh, how dare you ask me what happened to my leg? How rude of you? It's none of your business. How dare you ask me? And so on and so on. Yeah, I know. Wow, right? Like, fucking get over yourself. Anyway, um, not saying they're... Uh, mm, I am saying they're wrong. Not saying that you don't have... Like, if you don't like to be asked what happened to your leg, you are fine to have that opinion. That is okay. And you can even tell people, I... Sorry, I don't really like to talk about it. Done. What I am saying is wrong, which clearly a ton of amputees don't agree with because there's so many posts about it, is... Don't be a dick to people who ask and don't put out into the able-bodied world that it is rude to ask. There is a ton of fear around disability, a ton of fear. People don't know how to approach it, people don't know where to look when they see someone with a disability, people don't know what to ask or say and people avoid you and avoid eye contact and all sorts of shit. And you being a dick to people for asking breeds ignorance about disability. Because, and it breeds fear. It breeds more fear. People are more afraid to ask because, oh no, remember that bitch of an amputee who screamed at me and told me that it was wrong? Or like, fuck all those posts I've seen about how you do not deserve to ask. People deserve to ask whatever the fuck they want. You can politely say, sorry, I don't like to talk about it. And then they'll ask again. Interesting story. Multiple times I've had one crutch. I have approached like a counter at the gym or at the shops and someone's like, oh babe, what'd you do to yourself? And I'm like, actually, I just got a new leg. And they're like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I didn't see. And I'm like, whoa, it's okay, it's all good. I think it's hilarious, like it's, it's funny. And then they're like, so what happened? I'm like, oh well, let me tell you. And we have a chat about it. Why is it socially acceptable to go, oh my god, what happened when you see someone on crutches with broken foot or broken arm or two moon boots, because well, let me tell you, people want to ask you what happened when you were in two moon boots. Why is that okay? How is that any fucking different? It's not, except people are afraid to ask people with disabilities about their disability. And you being a dick about it breeds the fear. You're like helping breed ignorance about disability as a person with a disability. Politely say, sorry, I don't really like to talk about it. Shuffle along. Like, was that hard? And yes, I'm a new amputee, so I haven't spent years with people looking. But guess what? I would much prefer people ask me than just stare at me. Ask. You can see them running, you can see it ticking away in the back of their head. But they're afraid to ask because they don't want to get their head bitten off by some bitch of an amputee because, oh, I lost my foot and it's so terrible. Just ask. Don't be a douche canoe about it. Don't have to answer, but you also don't have to be a dick about it. You don't have to help breed ignorance around disability and breed the fear. Because I would be afraid. If some douche canoe who lost a foot, like, mm -hmm, was a dick about it, I would never ask anybody else ever again. And every conversation, I love it. Every conversation that I have had that starts with, how'd you lose your foot? Or, oh my god, what happened? Or, oh, you don't have a foot. Every conversation that starts like that is not over when I answer that question. They have a million more questions, but guess what? What did you do or what happened is just a foot in the door, no pun intended, to ask more questions. I then end up talking to people about phantom limb pain and about bendy IS and about prosthetics and how they work and how does it stay on your leg? Like, can I pull it? Yeah, 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 give it a yank, it's not gonna go anywhere. Like, all of these awesome questions are being asked. I am being a part of educating people about disability and about my disability. How incredible is that? It's amazing. Ask away, I love. Just 
Teach the freaking world. Don't teach them to be afraid. Done. Buy mum a roll. Because, well, let's just all add it in. Also, really clearly <laughs> I'm an amputee that has a different opinion to quite a lot of other amputees as showcased in the beginning half of this video um there's also a ton of amputees who think just like me like I'm not saying I'm like the one cool rebel out of here on my own there are a ton who think like me as well there are also a lot that think let's just call it 50 50 you know I'm over here in the cool side not over here with the douche canoes. So, people who say, it doesn't define me, I am not defined by my leg, but then they use their leg for their social media following and they use their leg to plaster that they are the first amputee to insert whatever here, first amputee to do insert whatever here. You literally just used your leg to define you. If you didn't, you would just go, I did this, and I did this. Not, I'm the first amputee to you. Literally just used it to define yourself. Let's just stop with that bullshit. Because it makes you look like a wanker. And it does define you. Not only did you just use it to define yourself, but it defines you, where you were born, how you were brought up, the fact that I had red hair last week and I have brown hair today. What I'm wearing. My leg. These are all things that define me. Religion. Race. The list just goes on and on and on. It is not the only thing that defines you, but it is something that defines you as an individual. Roll with it. It doesn't have to be the only thing that defines you, but if you're using it, social media following and likes and to say I'm the only amputee that did this then you are using it to define you so get off your high horse about by the way like I'm not just unfit when you hear me puffing when I'm talking I mean clearly like your girl is thick and working on it and like totally happy but um it's not just the thickness um it's my blood clots that I had a few years ago spoken about them before I had a few now the lungs and uh, my lungs have not really recovered from that and um, I get puffed when I talk quickly or talk a lot. Um, so I am not just thick and struggling to get my words out just cause I'm a little unfit. <laughs> I also am unfit, but most of it's the lungs. So like, I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna have a heart attack. I know that I sound like it when I'm talking fast. I'm like, <laughs> don't worry, I got water over there. Had a drink break, we're all good.